Well, good morning. It's yet, uh, well, a new week and the cozy moment as usual. This time, my name is Jocelyn Achiwale. And this morning, we are going to be speaking about uh, things to do with finance. Well, I don't want numbers. I only love numbers when it comes to money and in my wallet. <laughs> That's all I understand when it comes to figures. But this morning, we are speaking about finance. Should... Uh, should a woman have a secret account? And I am wondering why my producer would think about a woman having a secret account. And to discuss with me, it is so interesting. It is a man, and I think I'll be getting balanced reactions. And it is Aaron Stabarka. Good morning. Good I morning think. to you, Jocelyn. The other time it was you saying good morning to me, and now it's me saying good morning. It's, it's just interesting every day how we keep on interacting <laughs> about some of these things. Uh, because, um, um, well, anyone would really want to assume that we know too much about them, but sure. we don't know. We no, just simply always, want to. Yeah, but there's always a second mm. to learn. I've always mm. been shouting this. If you give mm. in a second, then you can always learn something. So, mm. do you think we... Something we about, uh, something I know about uh, finances, mm -hmm. yes, let's put that aside. But something I know about women is that women, uh, although in the African traditional society, are looked to be subdued. They are looked to be the inf uh, to be the inferior. But I think, for example, let me take a look at this country. That once this government, the government of Mr. Museveni, introduced women uh, woman em emancipation, then I think over time we've had a number of issues. We have uh, had women rise to the occasion. I think some of the biggest finance institutions in this country are led by women. And to start with, I hope when you go back to your family at some level, some women have been able to adduce enough finances out of their own work in a household than men. Mm. So that is my justification for the reason for women to keep some level of um, finances. If a woman is willing, if a woman has been able to be productive, then why do you even ask a question of why he or she should have money? So I say that women should have uh, some uh, level of financial uh, uh, independence mm -hmm. and, of course, some level of financial security because if a woman is capable of working out and have her own money, then why should you even avoid that? Uh, yeah. Well, Aaron, <laughs> you know things to do with finances, they cause a lot of commotion in homes but this is what i think and this is what i think it should be well speaking about independence that is also so good but when it comes to money um uh, i think i mean if we are in a relationship if i am your wife if you are my husband you're my boyfriend i'm your girlfriend why uh, not boyfriend you know i'm past that level <laughs> but, it's okay that's but, but, but that uh, is but where but it for starts. the sake of, uh, of this segment i mean uh you know there are many things that we do so this is what I think. It could not be a secret bank account because anything could happen. And I always tell people, uh, when your man is not your friend, then there is a problem. You should be the first person to know anything about me. I, I think you And agree. finances including. Because if I get a problem, Aaron, you should be able to access my funds. If we need the money, you should be able to access my funds. I should be able to access your funds. So these things of keeping it secret, keeping it secret, that's how people die. And their money remains with the so-called banks because no oh, one is following Of course, I was, I was coming up. to that point. I did not mention uh, being secretive about these finances. And I only wanted to say we get it totally very wrong if we keep on saying that uh, my money, your money, you see, blah, blah. But, but the whole point is that you work, Joseline. I see you working Yeah, yes, day. I do. Work. You should be earning. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and you do earn the money and take it home. Doesn't your man know that you earn? He does. It I mean, the fact that I leave home and then I come, I'm away from home, I am doing something. That's then why it I have to leave home it every morning. It should actually be a surprise. If you tell me that, you know, part of your money is being fractured, it's been uh, fragmented in two portions, one for tomatoes and the other one for keeping when, y when your husband shouldn't be knowing and children that you keep some money, uh, then that is the secret financing. Now, you go to a up to a level of having... Um, do I know the name of your husband? Because I wanted to... Let, let, let's assume it is me. <laughs> and, and say, uh, now, Aaron Stavarka and Joseline Nachibule account is a family account. Uh-huh. 
And then that account is the one that we all of us pull together money and contribute to that account. Yes. Uh, Arans Tabaruka, the husband of Josie Nachibule, and Josie Nachibule, the wife of Arans Tabaruka, are aware about this context yes. of the finance account. Mm -hmm. And then behind the back of Arans Tabaruka, Josie Nachibule has another account from where he, she gets the money. Keeps it in Standbeek Bank. Our accounts are in Centen Centennial Road Development Bank. And probably, uh, Aranste Worker doesn't have any uh, idea about the other account. Mm. Wh whichever name, you might find the name is something else. It is not even Josely Nachibule. Sure. What hell would be that? Now, this is what I'm telling you. You know, when it comes to finances, uh, maybe at some point, I wouldn't even love you to know how much I'm earning. But, like I always say... Do, do I know? Uh, do you I am talking about the husband. Yes. Mm. Do you even have to know? But the thing yes, is... Yes, why not? This is now the problem. Is how do we start... I mean, how did we start everything? If we started it like you, you just have to know a percentage of me then it would be okay. If we started it How do we handle point, these finances, by the way, when they reach home? Now, that is the problem. And it all starts with the way we started our relationship. You know, whatsoever we are doing in our homes, huh? it emanates from how we started it all. Like do, I was do, saying, do you if you think you're supposed to know a percentage of me, then that's what you'll be knowing. That is how it comes that I have a business <coughs> that you do not know. I'll keep on saying I'm going to check on mommy, yet I'm going to check on my business. I'll have accounts that you don't even know. But, like I always tell people, uh, yeah, of course... This uh, privacy, we need some level of privacy. But when it comes to finances, because when you know your friend, I know I should know when you don't have money. And I should know when to come in as a wife. Josely Nachibule, Aranz Tabaruka, what exactly happens to these finances at the end of the month? Now, this is between us. We should be knowing that at the end of uh, August, this is August, right? What are we supposed to do? Now, when we talk about accounts, uh, maybe you have your account where your salary is deposited, okay, at your place of work. I have my account. But if we are looking at uh, us growing, we could have that other account for you and I, husband that is and wife. That's a, a, a joint account. Now, that account, when you get your salary on your account, and when I get my salary on my account, we can as well withdraw money, both of us, and then we deposit it on the joint account. Now, we should also have a plan that as we withdraw and deposit, what are we looking at? Are we saving for 10 years? Are we saving to buy something at the end of the month? Are we saving, you know, it, it's, it's just like that. You and I can even choose to have a business but it's me you funding now if it comes for a woman to have a secret account like the topic of today well it is okay but again you know there are many repercussions you it see, can never be a secret i, I don't see the okay of it but i am it, going to <laughs> i'm going to to try to break down because you men have secrets Let i mean you have secret accounts you have secret children you have secret wives you have secret you you have secret everything you know you have even gone up to the level of secret wives but let me try to break down my proposal to you if you agreed you are my woman then at every end of the month i earn seven hundred and forty thousand uganda shillings i'll break it down to zero down to fuel transport food all the requirements that we really want now as we continue to talk about this, mm -hmm. I think the whole question of money is a concern to our family. The concern here is, I must be knowing what Josely Nachibule's take back, take home mm. is. And if it is that 740 bro uh, broken down into um, the 150 is going to the joint account, the 150 is for my fuel. The 200 is for our upkeep at home. Mm -hmm. That brings it to 500. Mm -hmm. The 240 remaining is a development fund and therefore should be around the circles of did you want to buy a prod? Do you want to um, service your car? Do you want to uh, move around? Do you want to attend to the projects? Do you want to pay school fees? Do you, is that for medical care? Is, you know, all these concerns leave us with no guilt 
of creating a sacred account. I know you make quite a number. I, I mean, you, you make quite a lot of money outside the salary. I don't care. So probably if you also want, you want to appear before me and say, oh, look, my dear. This is the money that I made when I went for the other workshop. Mm -hmm. Probably it's even bigger than the, your, your take home. Mm. And then we start thinking of how we should also uh, try to break down here. This is the whole point I'm trying to make. In any resolution in a relationship or in a family, we reach a consensus that there is no doubt um, even when you create a, an account behind my back, you reach a point when you want to tell me, by the way, Aaron Stavarka, I have an account that has a hundred million got from my other friend, an investor, <laughs> or the government, then probably it, it, it shouldn't really be a secret. Because what would really happen if I found out? Now, that is the problem. But again, I always tell women, <laughs> this is me, <laughs> but I always tell women, because we change. I mean, today I might see you as a prince, and tomorrow I see you like any other person. That, that happens. Yes. Mm. Now, this comes to, uh, I want to drive this home, that there is that time when you know things will change, okay? And there are men who are so evil in a way that when it all comes it, to It's an only end, men who are evil. I'm speaking about men because I'm a woman. Okay. Mm. Um, I, I won't speak about women being evil. I will simply <laughs> say that in a relationship, there is evil. So once we know that there is evil, let's try of to avoid it. Of course, there is evil. But sometimes it becomes so harder to contain. And we need to part ways. And now, there away. are some men who are so evil, so selfish, and so backward that I see women who are driving cars, but they do not have... <laughs> the cards and you know why because it is a trap i mean when it comes to an end this man will probably want the car mm. i've seen women who are in how their houses but they're not even sure what happens tomorrow so in in cases like that maybe we need I, I need that account to push on if things do not work out well for me but i am not even promoting this because let me tell you something i always tell people when you are in a relationship and your friends now i am not talking about husband and wife when you are friends we solve many things just like friends. Okay? You understand. I talk to you as a friend. I need you as a friend. Not like my husband. If we are friends, there are times when I don't need that me time. It's not that I don't need it, but we call it a leave. Eh? You know, love leave. I don't have to sleep with you, but I have to share a bed with you as a friend. So even when I am not with you, You're we are not You're teaching me something cuddling. new called love leave. So. Yes. Mm. Even when we can cuddle, but when we choose not to, it is okay. You won't complain that I'm, I'm denying you anything. I'll not even complain that, you know, I didn't have it. Simply because, you know, we are just in the house as friends. And then a week comes in when I really need you. <laughs> you get that. So this thing is, is I mean, well... Keeping it, keeping up a, a, a bank account secret would be good, but it has many repercussions that would be so hard for you to contain. I, I to probably it. want to, to advise you that you create all these repercussions by thinking that you're going to outlive that. And uh, now that you, it already happens, uh, you have no solution to it, then it will affect you. Uh, my, my consonance into believing that you need that secret account um, uh, rhymes with the consonance of believing that you're also creating, you're creating shudder into your own life. Because if you knew something is going to bring you uh, problems, then uh, think harder. All right. Uh, we posted this and uh, Kashita says, sure, why not? Even men have secret bank accounts and many other things. I think it is right a woman should have backup plans. I love that word, backup plans too, especially money backup. Then Sunday, Robert, you say, oh, yes, and woman emancipation. Chiyeba Abdu, you say, yeah. And then uh, Gloria says, a friend of mine has been happily married for 20 years, but her mother still occasionally sends her money to put in her living fund. Her mother finally believes that every woman should have a similar fund just in case. This mindset may sound a little antiquated as plenty of married women have careers these days and many even other brain readers. But it still begs the question of whether it is wise to have a little secret. So, some, something now, about living fund. Is, is this money that you will keep on uh, preparing 
um, for your departure at a point when you disagree no, it's, on it's, issues. It's, it's not about departure because there are many times I, I, I tell people if you agree to say I do, leave alone these I do's <coughs> of celebrities that today I say I do and tomorrow I say I didn't know he was such a man. Okay, when you say I do, it is I do. Okay, I have uh, seen there a are couple. many things. Yeah, there are many things that we say. Let me tell you something. This is a secret. Mm. <laughs> but on a air. secret on It air. will stop being a secret uh, <laughs> from today. You know when you're getting married, there are those things you keep on saying, and they're given people to read. This, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll you do this. You didn't read that. No, me, I didn't read them. Because I knew there are some things I'll not do as a human being. So I told Cardinal, I will not read them. Do you have a video of your wedding party? You want to look at that? Because I don't believe you. <laughs> no, because this is me. I mean, like I tell you, I don't say sorry there are things in the church. There, there are things yes, in the church you Yes, but I told say. them. Did These you refuse? are things I've always been hearing. My judges, my friends, my everything. They say them. And Babi Samam Luganda rente gere nye 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 this and that and that. And I'm like, okay, chocha so means the sobola chikola. So I told, yeah, the one who was responsible Th for this event. And together. I said, no, I will not do that. So can I can I say what I think I will do that I'll manage? And the time and the, the time still allows you. questions. Because this is, I mean, this is forever. I'm not saying I do for today and tomorrow, Aaron. Why would I say, you're not that, that, you know? that can be and another then, discussion. Uh, wait, there are some questions that come up and I'm like, okay, do you remember that day what I said? Hmm. It wasn't part of it. But this is what I'm saying. We need to be real. And these things of bank accounts, there are times when, like a woman, I don't have to beg for everything. Mm -hmm. My father is sick, my mother is sick, my brother is sick. At some point, maybe you will not mention, but in reality, you become a burden. But if I have that money behind there, well, I can solve some issues. You see, That's the solving thing. of issues, I agree with you, but I hope you also understand that the solving of issues should also be in minor. And once I also start uh, seeing that you're solving uh, issues larger than what you are, then I will also be susceptible about what is happening in our lives. Okay, Marita says, point. if you have money of your own and he does not have any say in how you spend it, you'll find yourself on more solid ground where all Marita financial decisions are concerned. Now, this is where I get a problem when a man says, Sina Center, Sina Center, and it becomes a song. Even when he has money, he says, Sina Center. So if I have money on my account, then I can do what I can. But however, if you leave a woman, huh? if you leave a woman to run the home, financially, Aaron, I swear, you'll never be a man in that home. Never. So you you'll agree. be like a child, like a son, like, like anything, but you'll never be a man. This is how, and this is why I hate the so woman emancipation something. Well, maybe it was good, but like I said, uh, we, we, we did not understand the meaning. That's why you see women at the end of the day, they tend to be the men. China Chakola, you know, even when she knows I am late, you don't do anything. So, well, yeah, we need to be well, well, I am an advocate of, of women empowerment, and I am also an advocate of women rights, and I believe... Women I believe empowerment is totally different in from... A broader, in a broader... From emancipation. We, yes, yeah. but... In, in a broader sense, in a broader sense, I, I believe that we should be having equal rights, uh, me and my woman, and probably I, I love it when I see uh, women do things that men are supposed to do well, at a greater rights, length. Equal rights, like you say, could be good, maybe from where you come from. It is also good from where I come from. But at the end of the day, a man will always be a man and I'll always be a woman. Now, why we get problems, even when it comes to finances? Because I am earning more than you do. Do I have any I problem if you walk to the plot of land and you buy and you say the land title came in because uh, this is the money we saved? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you understand It, it is very thing. okay, but mm. it all goes back to how we started it all. When we have a lot of money, we tend to forget that because I put on a trouser, that makes me a man. But that will never, okay? So, I mean, it's, it's about an understanding. Even when I have, because I could have, have a lot, I could even be having that account, but you don't know what I do with it. I hear men asking, why can't send us a motuzikola mochi? Bandange, tuzikola mwebi to binge. That's it. That's well, this comes to an end. Thank you so very much. And we will be here tomorrow and later at 7 p.m. with our Luganda Bulletin, Amazon Sule. My name is Jocelyn Achibule. Up next is Bucks with Entertainment News. Keep it to WBS TV.